Falcon Island Senior Inline Hockey League has now moved three quarters of the way through the season, with week eight fixtures serving up more intriguing matchups. First up were two teams sitting in the wrong half of the league table. Third place Scorpions playing bottom place Venom. Venom's torrid run of form of late has seen them lose their last three games, with their only win of the season so far actually coming against the Scorpions in game week two. Scorpions, meanwhile, were looking to build on a battling display last week that saw them concede a late winner in only the final two minutes against the league leaders, the Beasts. And it didn't take long for the Scorpions to put last week's disappointment behind them. Danny Ross netting two quick-fire shots barely seconds after the first whistle had been blown. A fourth straight defeat for Venom looked likely if the Scorpion onslaught continued, with only some last-ditch defence keeping the score at 2-0. Venom continued to compete, but struggled to convert a number of half-chances. Competition for possession of the puck remained fierce, but it quickly became clear that Ross was in the mood. Completing his hat-trick with 13 minutes gone. Kevin Hills made it 4-0 to the Scorpions, but the final act of the second half gave Venom a slither of hope. Theo Clifton with a last gasp buzzer score. It was more of the same in the second period, however. The Venom goal only appearing to stir the Scorpions forwards back to life. Danny Ross again seeming to glide past everyone, including his own teammates, to make it 5-1 and his fourth of the night. Potentially spurred on by being knocked off the league's top scorer spot last week, it wouldn't be long before Ross added his fifth, ultimately finishing the night with six goals to his name. Another tough night for Venom though, Craigie Chapunza bagging a late goal, but the final score finishing 8-2 to the Scorpions. The second game of the night saw top of the table, the Beasts, play their nearest rivals in second place, the Ducks. The Beasts now hold an undefeated record stretching back to game week three, something one of the teams below them will need to break soon or risk the gap at the top of the table becoming too much to recover. A batting start though from the league chasers had them one up within three minutes, Jack Kelly finishing expertly. But the Beasts are sitting at the top for a reason. Inform Jake Hawksworth with the equaliser. Then Ethan Fowler making it 2-1. It was quickly 3-1, with the Ducks coming off second best on the scoreboard and in physical battles. There really was no let up from the Beasts. What followed was a masterclass in finishing, starting with a powerful hat trick from Ethan Fowler, who finished with four from the game. Beasts going into half time, eight one up. With the game all but over, the Beasts capitalized on a night to forget for the Ducks. First, Antoine Dahl, Jake Hawksworth, and then two from Jacob Smith, boosting their personal tallies for the season. Final score, Ducks 1, Beast 12. So after a couple of one-sided results, here's how the league table looks after round eight. The Beasts are flying, 
six points clear of the Scorpions in second with a healthy goal difference. The Ducks fall back down to third after a heavy loss with no change at the bottom for Venom.